Okay family, so I guess this is part two of that video that I just did a moment ago. Boy oh boy oh boy oh boy, we are in trouble. If you haven't started prepping yet, you need to start thinking about prepping. If you haven't secured you a piece in if you haven't secured you a piece of land anywhere yet, secure yourself a piece of land anywhere okay and make sure that it's for residential use so you can go on it you can build on it you can put a container house on it you can drop one of them Costco or Walmart houses on it you can get some plumbing linked up to it or if it has plumbing already and all that done perfect make sure it's near a lake or flipping creek make sure look and see if there's any kind of mineral deposits and all that kind of stuff near it to make some money and all the rest of it And also look up the local flora and fauna, healing plants and also dangerous and venomous plants and animals and insects <laughs> because you might want to know. And also if you're like anywhere near the, the Alpachian, what's it, Majigi, just know that you're in for an, the Appalachian Trail, all of that very, very mystical uh, forest and park and country and hilly land just know that you're in for a wild ride <laughs> now start prepping start prepping and and also start to um i sell gemstones get you some silver get you some gold okay you, Okay. Right about now, one of my, my um, favorite TikTokers, she don't have no power and she ain't had no light and power for the past three days. She's in Texas. This is not some country in West Africa where they, where they don't have any grid and their water is, uh, their electricity is supplied via some ship off the ocean. That ain't it. This is Texas, the USA. Now. Putin, Russian President Vladimir Putin has issued a grave warning to the world. Okay? Now, you know, there's two things about Putin. They make him look like a lunatic and, and sometimes relatively harmless to us, even though they know he's not harmless. And then on the other side, they make him look like a raven lunatic devil who is capable of ending and finishing this world. So there's those two kind of things. But when he issues a warning, we got to take it seriously. Okay? He said that there, we, especially, and, and people in the United States, is under the control of deep state operatives. And what they're planning to do is unleash a domestic weapon, which is not nuclear, but biological. So you might say, well, what's new, Miss Sam? Don't they do that all the time? This is coming from him, okay, from Russia. This is not coming from somebody who is kind of anti-government or, you know, lives in the United States and is, uh, you know, domestic pest and all that type of thing. No, no, no. This is coming from him. Now, with this information, I don't know what the hell he want us to do with this. What the, Putin, what the hell do you want us to do with this information? But he's letting you, he's letting you and me know that our own, our own governments may be using a form of, a form of biological warfare against us. So not only do we have to fear him, Putin, if he gets upset and takes it out on all of us, but we also have to fear the people who we're supposed to be looking to, to bloody well help us. 
And that is why, family, you cannot rely on government. You've got to rely on yourself. You all said that my hair looked moisturized. Thank you very much. I'll show you the shampoos and treatments and conditioners later. We ain't got nobody to rely on. And this is the argument behind this thing about the right to bear arms. Because when push come to shove, come to press button, come to unleash, we all we got. We. Us. So we have to be our own micro-government in our communities, within our homes. And when I say community, I don't mean like, you know, thousands of people or even hundreds of people. I'm talking about even you and your neighbor. <laughs> but even then, if you look at the North Korean example, you can't even trust your damn neighbor because they'd be snitching on you and informing on you and talking about what you got from what you ain't got and how you've prepared this from what you ain't prepared and the intelligence that you're using and the knowledge that you're using and the scientific methods that you've employed for this than the other so that you can just keep safe in the event that these guys who are doing political posturing don't you know use your bloody cannon fodder in their big game so Putin said in the last part of 2024 hold on excuse me that hold on in order to disrupt the elections for 2024 this is when they're going to unleash this thing. So how many weeks do we have? <laughs> Basically, how many weeks do we have? It's a bit like when they said, oh, the aliens are coming, or when they, when they acknowledge that aliens exist. And you're always saying, well, yeah, but do I still have to pay this electricity bill? Do I have to still pay the TV license? Uh, do I still have to pay the gas bill? Do I need to still pay for this janky water? that's giving us waterborne diseases where we're ending up in hospital because the water is crap. Just like over there in Flint, Michigan. The same thing that's happening in Flint, Michigan is happening in the UK. You can't drink the water, you can't brush your teeth with the water. Everybody getting belly, belly pain because they're coming into contact with some very, very strong, nasty bacteria in the water. So Putin is telling us all of this. So basically what he's saying is, our governments ain't shit. So don't trust them. They're telling you that I'm a bad guy, but I'm telling you that they're even worse than me. Because at least I care for my citizens. That's what Putin is saying. Okay? And also, it's his way of making sure that the people do not support government. Because of this idea, the dream of democracy, or the illusion of democracy, that says that we have rights, and we get a chance to decide, and we have a say, when in fact we don't have no say. And our say depends upon whatever is inflicted upon us to influence, influence us, or make us think, or act, or behave in any particular type of way. So, all of this information was released during a military press conference in Russia where officials outlined a supposed plot involving the release of, listen, this is the first time I heard it too, Avion Bio Weapons. Do, 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 do. Avion Bio Weapons. And some people on TikTok said, and of course, all of this has to be fact-checked, right? Because this could be completely not true, could be, you know, pro-Putin propaganda, but it's out there. So who do you believe? And, and really, who is the bad guy?
someone said, I'm starting to believe him, Putin, more than our flipping government. Hold on. It didn't say flipping. I just put that bit in there. Hold on. I'm going to show you. Now, of course, this is... There's a startling accusation. Isn't it? Just like when Putin went to Africa the other day for that big Africa conference and he was given, you know, a royal welcome, you know, imperial Russian royal welcome and, uh, you know, held up like, you know, the African, white Russian African messiah. But he, you know, he, and then he went and told all the African leaders and the military leaders who really courted him. You know, and he was all over them, shaking hands and shaking hands and hugging and beer slaps and all this type of thing. It was, you know, a big thing between Putin and them. And, he, and of course, he was really, you know, shading the USA and talking shit about the USA to all of these African countries, which, of course, are very, very super rich. But at the same time, poor, because the resources are not used for the people. Because the, the puppet masters in Africa serve Western powers. But the Chinese dragon has gone in there and said, look here, I can make you a better deal than the USA. I can certainly make you a better deal than the UK. Ah, oh, forget about France. Forget about them. What do you want? Schools, highways, roads, clean waters, well, you want wells? The Chinese come in there with all their workers and their industrial equipment and they create roads and light railways and trains and all kinds of stuff. Get their feet underneath the carpet of Africa and they get the dragon wraps its tail around Africa uh, and that's it basically. So of course Putin, the Chinese ally, comes in there and you know the, he's got the floor. They listen, they're all ears. What do you want to say Putin? Ah, we are listening to you. Ah, we know you are talking the truth. Yes, we have something in common. We all hate the USA. Ah, France. Who are they? And the UK. Ah, they are so spineless. What a bunch of bastards. Yeah. <laughs> and then here we are, flipping muggins, just waiting, you know, <laughs> to see who wins the fight and hoping that we don't get caught in the middle. You know, we, we catch in strays. I'll come back later. Ashe, bless. I've got a nice Caesar salad here. This thing is so warm. <laughs> yeah. All right. Later. This has been on Putin. Putin's warning for us.